Oya Mill, Jose Andres, and his team combine Mexico's rich regional diversity with the vibrant urban atmosphere of Mexico City. The liveliness of the dining room is matched by the creativity of the menu and cocktail list featuring antojitos, Mexican small plates, ceviches, and tacos, plus unique margaritas and an impressive array of wine, tequila, and mezcal. Originally opened in 2004 in the Crystal City neighborhood of Arlington, Oya Mill moved to its current home in the Penn Quarter in March of 2007. Oya Mill ranks consistently as a top DC dining destination and was awarded a Bib Gourmand in the 2017 and 2018 Michelin Guide to Washington, DC. Origin of the restaurant's name. Every year, millions of monarch butterflies migrate south from their homes in US and Canada to spend the winter months in the mountains of Michoacan. The butterflies seek refuge in the Oyamel tree, considered a sacred fir native to central Mexico. The forest appears to be draped in gold thanks to the butterflies covering the trees. Adding to the otherworldly quality of the place is the shh sound from the butterflies flapping their wings to stay warm. The locals believe the butterflies bear the spirits of their departed as they appear around Day of the Dead. What's going on, my hungry, hungry family? And welcome back to the Hungry Road. As you can see, it is very busy in here. I'm in Washington, D.C. for work, and I found this place. So I have this big, this, this Yelp app I use, and I have like 500 something places that I have bookmarked of places that I need to try. I either seen them on TV, on the internet somewhere, or someone personally recommended these places to me. So on that bookmark list is a place called Oyumel. Check it out, it's Oyumel right there. It's a, a beautiful Mexican restaurant here. Very like, it, it, this can't be a chain. If they're a chain of them, this is crazy. But it's absolutely beautiful in here. You see from the, the B-roll and the shots in front. But we're gonna kick things off right here with their house. Well, it's not really a house margarita. It is the Oyumel margarita. So it is Jose Andres personal favorite with salt air so salt air is like a foam look there's like a foam on top check that out now salt air i'm assuming it's gonna be like a salty foam this is crazy i never experienced it hold on we're not done yet so we have milan robianco which is like tequila for sure and then combiel original and lime so 14 glass 14 dollars a glass so let's let's give it a good taste here check it out <laughs> that is sour but I do get a little bit of saltiness from that foam that's crazy so instead of salting the rim they put the foam as the salt on the glass that is crazy I've never thought about that or how they even do it but that's that's awesome and I'm sorry for the weird angle but it's that busy in here like I could not get a seat anywhere I need a room to be able to film but let's continue on we have like the chips and salsa that you always get at Mexican restaurants. These look decent. Check these out. They're like a hearty sort of chip. They're not, they're not like a they're basic white chip. They're like a freaking fibrous <laughs> chip or whatever. We have a deep, rich red salsa. Check that out right there. Just give it a good taste. These are thick. It's a thick chip. Get the dip. I'm so cramped over here. I feel like I'm back in Monaco right now. Check it out. Mm. That's hearty, that's smoky, it's bold. I wouldn't say it's rich. It tastes more like a wheat chip or a multi grain sort of chip compared to like a regular old white corn tortilla you know, chip or whatever. But this sauce is very good, not too much spice to it. One more time. Mm. That's good. That's an original sauce I can tell. I never tasted anything like this before. But good job, guys. Alright, y'all. I was talking to my server, Ezra. Make sure you ask for her when you come in here because she's um, she's amazing. She's giving me a lot of good recommendations. So be stay tuned for what I got coming up. But she said you have to try the house made guacamole. Like, what you talking about? You saw in the video in the beginning, they have this house made, this, this a person up front, this nigga guacamole all day. It comes in this stone bowl. Check it out. <laughs> Look at that. And so, oh, there's a chip in here already because I was going to do a, a thing and then stuff happened. Let's put that back. Let's redo that whole thing. But so put it back here. Let me read you what's in the guacamole. So, in the, the first page of the menu, right here up in the corner, 
We have to bear the weight guacamole freshly made to order with green tomatillo, serrano chili, remember those from the uh, Tech Experiences video, crumble queso fresco, I know you put cheese in guacamole, and a basket of fresh tortilla chips. I already got chips from earlier. I'm using the same chips. It's cool. Let's check it out. Get the stone bowl in front of me. Give me a chip. All right. Let's get a good helping here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. I never had cheesy guacamole before. That is fantastic. It's smooth. I can tell they didn't use a lot of salt in the guacamole because that cheese gives it the saltiness. It's creamy. It's super smooth. This is great, guys. Why did I think of putting like freaking crushed cheese in my guacamole? I'm stealing your idea. Thank you. As I'm continuing to eat the guacamole, I'm getting more and more flavors. Let's put it back in front of you, make you jealous. It's warm. It's not hearty, but a little on the bold side. It, it, it's just a, a beautiful concoction. Look, oh, it fell in my hand. We're going to eat that, though. The peppers and the cheese, I, I can't stop raving about this. Only the second thing I've had here, aside from the sauce, chips, and salsa, it's going to be a long night. All right, y'all. I got my second drink in front of me. I asked Ezra, what else should I get? She was like, yo, you like spicy? I said, I'm not hungry, bro, baby. She was like, all right, I'll take it. I was like, yes, she don't know who I am, but it's okay. So she recommended to me Vulcan de Mexico. So in the Vulcan de Mexico, it's the same tequila, Milagro Silver. We have Charu and a house-made Chinoy with lime. But the rim is going to be like a spicy seasoning. So, like I learned in Mexico, you taste some without the rim, or without the rim first. It's still spicy, still good, still good. Got about a three and a weedy heat scale. Very good. I got like a tomato -y. Uh I don't want to say tomato. Maybe it is tomato. We'll try again. Okay, more on the strawberry-ish, mango-y, pineapple-y sort of edge. Let's get some of that spice. Okay, nice smoky, rounded spice. That is delicious. It is not beat out. Their the original margarita, that is something you have to try. But this is a very good alternative. All right, guys, the second thing that Ezra recommended to me was the cocktail costeño, or costeño, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but it is a shrimp ceviche. I don't know if you can see it. It's going to spill out. You see the, the B-roll, but it's served in a chilled bowl. I have never seen that before. So there's water in the bowl. I mean, it's probably ice and water in the bowl. Then you have the bowl. So that's so cool. Keep it nice and chill. Now, if you know what ceviche is, it's like a way of cooking uh, seafood but without uh, adding heat to it. You kind of cook it in acid. So acid has a very, uh, it can have a, a chemical reaction to, to cook things. Don't worry about it. Anyway, check it out. So let me get a, let me get a bite, little bite here. It's a beautiful dish. Got a little bit here. Check it out. Let me can see that. There we go. Let's get a good bite. Oh, I thought it was in it. So what's in it? Traditional cocktail shrimp, tomato, red onion, peanuts, Chili, marita, and avocado. It's not simple enough. Mm. There's something about the way they cook it in lime juice. Not cook it, but whatever happens is VJ. It's a very specific flavor. This is delicious. The onions. The tomatoes in here. I got soup. I eat a soup. Oh, that is so good. Get some avocado. Try again. Some shrimp. Tomato with some avocado in there. 
The avocado should give me a little bit of warmth. I can't grab the avocado. There we go. Check it out. Oh, I lost it. We're just going to put it on with our hands. We're going to use our hands here on the Hungry Road. There we go. Right on top. Right on top. Mmm. It's so fresh. It's light. It's flavorful. And I can tell the flavors come from the natural ingredients. It's not a bunch of like seasonings and spices and shit all over it. Good job, guys. My goodness. All right, y'all. We got our next dish here. This is the cauliflower floor. What was like cauliflower frito? It's in Spanish. Don't worry about it. But this is gonna be cauliflower in a smoky, rich almond salsa, matcha, mezcal raisins. I don't know what that's supposed to taste like. Rajas over a Hoya Santa Crema. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I don't know what any of that is. But here we go. Delicious looking plate. Check that out. That is fantastic. I never own a cauliflower when I go out. So that's okay. Let's give it a shot here. Get a good spoon or fork full of everything at once. It looks pretty clean. It's not crispy or anything. Check it out. Nice. Give it a shot. Dente. Cooked very well. A smidge of spice in the back end. Smokiness. It's rich. I'm not tasting the raisins just yet. I'm getting good, like, almost like ch chipotle flavors from the sauce that's cooked in. Mmm. There's a crema, milky, creamy, on the light side, and the raisins add a little bit of sweetness. Now, I don't understand the mezcal part of the raisins. I got a few right here with a small bar of thigh flour. I bet that smoke is from the mezcal raisins. Overall, not bad. There's a lot of flavors going on here. And when you eat different things, you get different, you know, it's not uniform. But the wrong with that, it's still good. I recommend you try it. All right, guys, last but not least, we have some fish tacos. Check these guys out right here. So, we're gonna be Pescado Baja California tacos. We get two per order. These are gonna be 14 bucks. We in Washington, D.C. The rich coming to play and hang out and work and stuff down here, so it's cool. But the food speaks for the quality of food is fantastic. Anyway, crispy masa tempura batter seasonal fish with shredded cabbage, house made chile de arbo mayonnaise, Mexican crema, and a salsa mexicana of tomato, onion, and cilantro. They look fantastic. Check them out. This might be the thumbnail. I don't know, but I have this much room in my stomach. We're gonna go for the little guy here. Check them out. Nice, heavy. Look how dark the corn tortilla is. Check that guy out. Got all the cabbage right there, other side. Let's go for it. Mm. There's so many flavors that hit you at one time. The fish is so soft, so tender, flaky, a little bit of crisp there from the tempura. The crema adds like a creaminess, a little bit of, uh, there's a word I'm wondering, I can't think of the word right now, but you have all the tomatoes and the cilantro, and all that stuff right on top. There's a really good job. This is a fantastic. Might be top three fish tacos I've ever had. One more bite. Mm. And one thing, the tortilla, it doesn't drown the taco. Like, I've had plenty of tacos where the tortilla kind of drowns the taco. Like, 
it has all this flavor. The, the, the taco has all this flavor, but then the tortilla brings it down. This kind of like lets the taco shine. I love it. It's a corn tortilla. I can tell it's a corn tortilla, but it's fantastic. Well, guys, that's my time. I have an hour and 20 minute drive back to where I'm working and hanging out at a hotel. If you guys are in the area, check out. I don't forgot how to pronounce the restaurant's name. O U M O Y M E O Y M E. I don't know. Somebody correct me. <laughs> Food is fantastic. Service is fantastic. I want to say thank you to Amy. She's the uh, assistant general manager here. Hey, she's right here. Okay. <laughs> she showed up right when I was doing the outro. <laughs> you might see her in the background. I don't know. I want to say thank you to Amy. Thank you to Ezra for taking care of me. I really appreciate you guys. If you're first time seeing my face, please smash the subscribe button. Like the video while you're at it. There's plenty more where this is coming from. And I'm coming back down here tomorrow to do some wings. All right, guys. Take care.